make her say, Math class is tough, let's go shopping. Um, yeah. Okay, moving on though. Uh, here's something that's pretty relevant to us. Um, this is what they call a permutation puzzle, and it might be worthwhile um, yeah, taking a, taking a tr stab at this. Um, maybe pausing the video. Okay, so the answer is A and C are uh, matching, match with the original shape. Um, who cares though? Uh, so, so B and D are mirror image copies that have been rotated as well. Um, but who cares about this? Well, uh, permutation puzzles like these, there are also ones that involve like rearranging letters. Uh, permutation puzzles like these are meant to help psychologists test someone's innate mathematical skill. Um, I don't think much of the idea of innate mathematical skill, um, but, you know, uh, the, the idea is, um, well, 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 it might make sense. The idea is that some people have uh, more talent than others with things like this, um, and that can certainly help you with mathematics. Uh, uh, if you study geometry, if you study lots of other things, you can, it, it is pretty clear why um, being good at these things might help you with mathematics. And the other clever thing about this, though, this is, in some sense, a bit of mathematics that you wouldn't learn in school. So the, amount, the, the, the argument would be the amount of schooling that you have had will not have much of an impact on how you are at these. The amount of schooling you've had won't have an impact on these, i.e. this is a mathematics test that, look, that is looking purely at um, your sort of natural ability rather than uh, uh, ability with mathematics that might have been given to you by the culture or by, yeah, your life. Um, and so, okay, but here's, here's the question that uh, we're interested in and that that kind of puzzle gets used to try and answer. Um, do girls have the same aptitude for science, technology, engineering, mathematics as boys? Um, some psychologists would say yes, sometimes some psychologists would say no. I would say that yes, girls do have the same aptitude for science, technology, engineering, mathematics as boys. Um, Simon Baron Cohen would say no. Uh, but yeah, see what do you think of this? Um, oh, okay, so the way that this these things are relevant to that is um, okay, so there was a great big test, but there have been lots and lots of tests of uh, that kind of um, permutation puzzle. And this is a meta-analysis, uh, very quite quite famous test, quite famous meta-analysis. Um, magnitude of sex differences in spatial abilities. Uh, meta-analysis meta and consideration of variables. Um, and to summarise this meta-analysis, uh, it looked at studies that together had a hundred thousand. I think it was more than a hundred thousand people, um, men and women. Um, it looked across multiple countries and cultures, um, and it had a certain. So it was looking at you know, China, Turkey, um, obviously the United States, lots of places, um, and it found out that on tests like that, uh, where you're scored on both how many of them that you got right and uh, 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 how fast you were at puzzles like that one. Um, they found that the men scored an average of 5.5, while women scored an average of 3.6. Um, which looks bad. This seems like we might say that this is terrible news for feminism, uh, for terrible news for uh, women in STEM. Um, and indeed, this study gets quoted quite a lot. Uh, there's discussion of it from many, many angles, including many feminist angles. However, um, uh, you don't, we don't want to jump to conclusions still. 100,000 people, wow, that, that sounds pretty impressive. Um, and finding a correlation that goes across multiple cultures uh, uh, in, a, in a test that's meant to, that does its best to avoid being um, uh, influenced by um, your upbringing. Uh, it sounds it sounds pretty rigorous, as though they've pretty rigorously found that men are just better than girls, boys are just better than girls in maths. However, here's another study, and I think that this study is one of the um, 
biggest indictments of human civilization um, and uh, examples of internalized sexism that, well, I'm aware of, right? Uh, it's called Met. It, it, it brought some really terrifying findings in this study, in my opinion. Male priming boosts spatial skills in women. What the hell does that mean? I'll, I'll say in a second, but yeah, I, I think that this is a huge study. I think it should be better known. Um, it was conducted by these two, uh, Tulia Ortner and Monica Sieverding in uh, Berlin. Um, and, but in order to describe it, I first need to think about what priming is. Um, so think about a person doing a test, and think about the person doing the test versus the same person doing the test, but they are picturing themselves as Albert Einstein, right? Literally, yeah, you know. Yeah, you, you do the test versus you do the test picturing yourself as Albert Einstein. Might you expect that the one picturing themselves as Albert Einstein would like in, influence their performance? Well, it does. Um, the psycho, you know, the pretty consistent psychological finding, and that makes a lot of sense, right? Um, confidence is pretty important, uh, if nothing else. Um, so yeah, uh, picturing yourself as Albert Einstein helps you do better on tests. Uh, not necessarily evidence that we need to like tell all kids in schools doing exams that they need to picture themselves as Albert Einstein, although maybe we should think about that. Um, but okay, uh, so my, male priming boosts spatial skills in women. What did, what did they do? Well, they, they had a very sim simple idea. They said, how about we get women to picture themselves as men? Not as Albert Einstein, just picture yourself as a man. Um, and maybe men picture, them, picture yourselves as women. How, how much will that kind of priming impact on their ability with uh, permutation puzzles? Um, it turns out that it impacts their ability quite a lot. Uh, so we've got the results here. Women picturing, oh, oh, by the way, picturing yourself, what does it mean to picture yourself as uh, somebody else? Well, they use some clever techniques to get you to do that. Uh, no need to go into detail, but yeah, so women picturing themselves as women, as you would expect, they do pretty much as good as they ever did. Uh, men picturing themselves as men do pretty much as well as they ever did as well. However, um, this first result we're not so interested in, okay? Men do a little bit worse if they're picturing themselves as women, whatever. Uh, however, okay, have a pause now and maybe think uh, about uh, 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 what you think is going to be underneath this little black box here. Because uh, it's pretty awful. All right, here we go. Women picturing themselves as men on tests score this well. They do pretty much as well as men. Um, so in conclusion, internalized sexism has been effective at squashing mathematical abilities out of women, but it might be easy to bring them back. If all you have to do is picture yourself as a man, it, that suggests to me that a lot of mathematical abilities might be close to the surface. And there's a lot that we need to do to... It is, it is our society's fault. All of this, you know, 100,000 people sample in your meta-analysis, um, none of it matters because we're taking away confidence with mathematical activities from women and think about it and that's making the world a worse place. We could drastically increase the quantitative abilities of so many people if only we were to basically smash the patriarchy. Thank you.